Well, I mean, start with that third quarter, you put it in that completely different lineup, and all of a sudden, 14 to 2 run, you go from down 15 to down 3. Just what changed with that lineup and what the energy they brought and changed the game? Well, we were looking for a spark. I mean, we just, I couldn't, there wasn't a combination through the first first half and first part of the third quarter the wheels just kind of came off it was nothing was good offensively nothing was good defensively so it was like you know let's try a different group you know try a different group and you know it was I think it was Cammie, Kia, Amy, Abby, Lauren um, and they played defense you know I think that was the first thing they did they they upped the defensive intensity they communicated with each other got some stops back-to-back -back stops and then they, they just ran simple things offensively. They moved, they cut, they got some rebounds, you know, and kind of bit by bit, then it's a 12-point lead, and then all of a sudden it's single digits, and then all of a sudden, hey, we're kind of we're right there. And so, I mean, but it was, you know, a credit to that group. Um, you know, a lot, like Cammie doesn't get to play a ton. Some of those kids don't even get to play significant minutes, um, but they're ready, you know, and she gave us that lift that we needed. And, you know, I think the... The best thing about this team and also the worst thing about this team is our depth. You know, if we're able to manage our, our egos and, and be happy, um, as happy for the people that do get to play uh, as we are when, when we're the one that doesn't get to play, you know, I, I just think if we can manage those things, we have a lot of really, really nice pieces and a lot of depth. One of those pieces that you talked about in that lineup was Lauren Christie. She hits mm -hmm. the game tying basket to force overtime. Yeah. She gets the block on Tess Heal in overtime to basically seal the game. Yeah. Just talk about you know someone you said hasn't played a lot of minutes but comes in today and basically wills you guys to a win. Yeah, I th you know Lauren, we've seen from the beginning of the year that we, you know athletically she's got tremendous potential. She's long. She's agile. She runs the floor. She's got a nice touch. Um, she, you know, battled through a, an ankle injury kind of uh, in the Northridge game, so missed some time because of that. And never has really gotten her footing in the lineup. And, uh, you know, today she came in, she was invaluable to us. She, you know, her defense especially, I think, you know, being able to, her length, get some blocks, get some rebounds, made some nice passes to, to other players to, who finished the basket. And obviously that, you know, getting fouled and making that shot at the end was nails. So be great if she can you know kind of be consistent for us and we can get her into this lineup and um, yeah you know I'm just I'm really I'm happy that we win I feel, feel very fortunate that we're able to come back on Santa Clara a really good team at home and happy for our team. Talk about overtime a little bit you know you go in with all the momentum but it's one of those overtimes back and forth and nobody really gains control and you don't really get control until Jess makes those couple of free throws and you get that stop just how hard is it when you make all that work to get to overtime to close the game out and get the win? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, I felt good about us going into the overtime and tried to frame everything in a real positive way. They worked so hard to get back in the game, you know, and then, you know, tie it, go into overtime. I felt like, you know, that kind of gave us a mental edge um, that we'd already overcome the really, really hard part. Now it's 0-0, zero, zero, you know. We just have to go out and kind of be who we are, um, play really good defense like we did, uh, you know, from the middle of the third quarter on. and you know, figure out ways to get to the basket. So, you know, I, I, I did feel good about our, about our chances as we went into overtime. Kia is someone who you started for a lot of non-conference play. Obviously, you've had her for five years. You know what she brings. She shot the ball very efficiently all season today. She had 10 big points. Just what would, how would you assess how important she's been for this team this year? I mean, Kia is the best. She's just, she's so resilient. She's such a team player. You know, she, she's gone from being a, 35 minute a game kid her freshman year to then not starting and not playing and then you know starting and she's just you know it's just a credit to her character and a credit to her um, resilience that she is just able to show up and be whatever she can be to help make the team better I mean I think that's how to best characterize Kia and today she was her defense was excellent I thought she made good shots I thought she made good decisions for the most part on both ends of the floor and um, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's really fun to coach the kind of players that we have because they are such high character people. Looking ahead this weekend up in the Pacific Northwest, first Gonzaga played them close twice last year and then a Portland team that played twice close as well. Mm -hmm. Just how would you assess those games looking forward to a couple challenges? Yeah, tough. I mean, this is a tough three opening games of, of league here after Christmas on the road at Santa Clara, which is always a huge rivalry. And then Portland Gonzaga, who are picked, you know, what one and two in our league, or one and three in our league. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
they just they need to get some rest on Sunday, and then we'll try to get a game plan together and um, hopefully, you know, put up a good fight up in Gonzaga and maybe come out with a win. So we'll see. Thank you, Molly.